So, you've clicked on this video. Maybe it's because you clicked the wrong button, or maybe you want to start your very own smart home in New Zealand, but you don't quite know where to start. Well, that's why in today's video we're going to help you, fellow Kiwis, understand the basics of smart home technology in New Zealand. As well as showing you some beginner automations using Apple HomeKit to help start you off on your smart home journey. Let's go! Let's talk smart home. What is it and what does it do? Well, the implementation of smart home technology in your life can benefit you in so many ways. It can help reduce energy costs, increase leisure time, and just overall do the things you are too lazy to do. A smart home doesn't just substitute old technology for new technology, but it completely redefines the way that technology is utilised in your home. Another feature of a smart home is the use of presence detection. This is when your smart home tracks your Apple device, such as an iPhone or Apple Watch, when you're away from home. Although it sounds creepy, it's actually extremely useful. This ability means that your smart home is able to work out when you're 10 or so minutes away from home, so that it can do things such as turn on a heater or lights to provide you with a warm welcome home. So to summarise, through the use of presence detection, a smart home can work for you around the clock and adjust your daily schedule or routine in order to give you the greatest benefits of its technology. Speaking of Apple's presence detection, in this video we will be utilising Apple HomeKit as the main platform due to its advanced security system using end-to-end -end encryption as well as it just being the platform that we are most comfortable with using. However, if this isn't the platform for you, there are many other smart home platforms such as which all have compatible devices accessible in New Zealand. Yeah, about that. Even though smart home technology is quickly gaining popularity and the smart home industry is growing at rapid speeds, New Zealand is still a very small part of that industry and thus we do have less accessibility to smart home technology options compared to other parts of the world. Luckily, there are still many brands and devices that are accessible in New Zealand, helping you make your own smart home. Examples of these brands that work with Apple HomeKit include Not only this, but with the upcoming release of Matter in iOS 15, which will likely be released mid-September of 2021, HomeKit will soon have many more devices with compatibility. For Xiaomi devices, we will need a Xiaomi gateway to connect them to HomeKit, but otherwise they're directly compatible. They are also retrofitted, meaning that they can easily be installed, uninstalled and transported without needing to completely rewire your home, just to implement them. Not only this, but they are on the cheaper side of smart home devices, but are still really good quality, so they're perfect for smart home users on a budget. As well as this, because of this high quality, as well as the reliability of the Xiaomi brand in general, these devices have a very high longevity, meaning that your smart home will last. Let's think of your smart home as sort of a kingdom. The kingdom of Apple HomeKit. In our kingdom, there are the civilians, which are the devices, and the monarch, the hub, which unites these devices and allows you to control them from one point. For Apple HomeKit, this hub can either be an Apple TV 4 or 4K, an iPad with the iOS 14.0 or later, or a HomePod Mini. It is good to note that the iPad relies on the Home app to control these devices, which comes freely installed when you purchase the hub. And for this kingdom to communicate, there needs to be some languages. There are many different protocols, languages, which devices use to communicate with each other. In New Zealand, these include Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, ZigBee, and Thread. The protocol that is used is dependent on the device. But most importantly, for a kingdom to stand tall, you need to build it on a strong, reliable piece of ground. For a smart home, this is a mesh internet network. This network is deprived of both Ethernet and internet and must provide a strong connection in all areas of the home. Some ways of achieving this are through a Google Wi-Fi Pucks or a UDM, which will help extend your Wi-Fi's connection to give you a full coverage and reliable network. Now you have all the information needed to begin your smart home. So to help kickstart some things, here is a simple way to automate the lighting in your house using Apple HomeKit compatible accessories from PB Tech. There are many stores in New Zealand that offer a variety of smart home products such as JP High Five and Noel Lemming, but we have found that PB Tech offers the widest range of Apple HomeKit compatible products at an affordable price. For this automation, we will be using the Xiaomi motion sensor, which therefore requires the Xiaomi gateway. We will also be using the LifeX Smart Bulb. We can check that these products are compatible with Apple HomeKit by going down to the product descriptions. Otherwise, the physical products will have a sticker on them to indicate that they are Apple HomeKit compatible. Now that we have our devices, we're ready to set up the automation. 
first, we must add our devices and pair them with the home app. To do this, first download and go into the respective app of the brand of your device. For this example, we will be using the LifeX app. Now select Add a new device and follow the instructions given. Here we make sure our device is powered on and in range in order to select it and then the Apple Home it belongs to. After this, we then scan the HomeKit setup code in order to connect the device. We are then able to select its location its group and its name. We will be naming ours Lenny, but you can name it whatever best suits you. Now the device is fully connected and you are able to control it via the Brands app. As well as this, it is now paired with your Apple Home and can be controlled via the Home app. This process can then be repeated for all the other devices needed. Now to set up the automation, first select Add Automation then when a sensor detects something, and then select the motion sensor you previously added. Now select when the motion sensor detects motion, and then select the device you wish to control. For us, that's Lenny. Now we will select a timer, so that when motion is no longer detected, the device will still stay on for 2 minutes, just in case you remain in the room. And now your automation is all set up and ready to go. Now, when you walk into the room, your motion sensor should detect you and turn on your light. Now, you're all set up and well on your way to creating your own personal smart home. It will help you out around the clock. Not only this, but your contribution to the New Zealand smart home industry is helping it to grow and develop demand from the international smart home market, meaning that soon we'll have even more smart home devices from all around the world accessible to us. So hey, maybe clicking on this video didn't turn out so bad after all.